Hey, Mike here, michaelpitluck.com, and in this video, what we're going to do is connect ConvertKit to Kajabi. What's going on here? Well, basically, uh, I am going to be running a promotion, and that promotion is for the uh, stuck at home uh, is what I'm calling it, the, the people that are stuck at home because of the coronavirus situation. And uh, basically, I've seen a lot of companies and brands offer people uh, discounts on their products because number one, people are stuck at home. Number two, uh, people can't work. And so it's just a, a way to make things easier, help people take advantage of the time and give them a break financially uh, so they can keep themselves sane. And so I like that idea. So I'm going to do that for my audience. And so this is uh, the email that I'm going to send. It's a simple email, but there's uh, a lot going on uh, behind the scenes of just a simple email. And that's what this video and the series of vis these videos, uh, this video is in a series of videos showing you the entire creation process of a simple promotion. Um, so we're making the email. Uh, I, I didn't uh, actually do the copywriting for the email uh, on video, but we, we created the email um, broadcast email in ConvertKit. And then we had to build a sales page in Thrive Themes for one of the products here, the stuck at home uh, package here. We created a sales page for that. Then we had to go over to Kajabi to create a um, what's it called? The uh, checkout uh, cart for uh, the stuck at home package. We needed to create that offer and the checkout page. Um, we also needed to create a coupon because I'm also running a 50% discount on all individual products. And so there's a lot going on behind the scenes of this simple email. And I'm just showing you the work that goes involved. This is a live build and this will be a live promotion. And so this is me working through it in real time. So it's a little bit messy, but, um, it is the work. And so that's trying. That's one of the things I'm trying to uh, display at the same time. Okay. And so in this video specifically, what we need to do is connect Kajabi to ConvertKit. So we've already created this, uh, the checkout system for the, um, for the stuck at home package. But what we need to do now is after someone purchases it, purchases it on Kajabi, we need to send that their email over to ConvertKit because Kajabi does have its own email system in uh, the marketing tab. This is Kajabi. They do have their own email marketing thing going on here, but I uh, like to use ConvertKit. I'm used to it. And that's just how I handle all email communication. And so uh, what we need to do is we need to come over to the offers that we uh, created and this is the offer we just created, the stuck at home package. So I'm going to click on that. We need to also update the image here, but we're going to do that uh, another time. And uh, this is uh, the important thing right here is send the member to a third party email provider. So after someone purchase, as you can see, after purchase, we need to send the member to an, an, a third party email provider. So I'm going to click on this. Uh, but what we first need to do is come over to ConvertKit and I need to create the appropriate form that will allow Kajabi to connect and interact with ConvertKit. So I'm going to command click here, command shift click on landing pages and forms, and I need to create a new form. So right here, I'm going to create new form and we're going to click form and inline and, uh, just the simplest one. And actually, it makes no difference what form you, you use, but we just need to get a form ID, which is this number up here underneath my cursor. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in customer. This is going to be the form of the name, customer dash, uh, mm, let's call it course, customer dash promo. We'll do customer dash promo dash stuck at home. Okay. So we'll go ahead and save this. And I'm going to just copy this. Now, one other thing I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to come over to automations and I'm going to create a rule so that when someone um, gets the customer promo stuck at home, comes through the customer stuck at home form, I'm also going to apply a tag. Now, in ConvertKit, this isn't actually necessary because you can filter out things by form, by tag, but there are some situations that I can't think of off off the top of my head where it's just a little bit more convenient to use a tag. Um, so I'm just going to create a tag for this just in case. Okay. Um, so I'm going to come over to automations and I'm going to click on rules here 
and I'm going to just add a rule. And so when a customer uh, subscribes to a form, I'm going to select the form, and we're going to come down to customer promo stuck at home. I'm just going to create a tag. We're going to add a tag, and it's going to be identical. So we're going to create a new tag, and it's going to be customer promo stuck at home. Okay. We're going to save that rule. So uh, let me just step back for a second because I just did a lot at once. The most important thing here is that we created a landing, uh, not a landing page. We created a form and we created this form right here, the, the customer promo stuck at home. So I'm going to click on this one again and we're getting back on track here. So what we need to connect with Kajabi is the uh, that number right here. Okay, so we've got the number. So let's come over to Kajabi. And right here on the offer page of the stuck at home package, we need to come down to after purchase, send the member to a third party email provider. And that's going to be ConvertKit. And then we are going to paste that form ID and I'm going to hit save. So now when someone purchases the stuck at home package, uh, I'm sorry, Kajabi is going to send that email over to um, ConvertKit, okay? And then uh, ConvertKit is gonna recognize that this email went through this form and it's gonna also apply that tag. And so now I can uh, use those tags, that form, to exclude certain people from different promotions, from certain kinds of emails that have purchased the Stuck at Home package, okay? And uh, that's pretty much it for this email. That's all we needed to do to connect Kajabi to ConvertKit. Um, now, I, I realize there could be a way to um, connect them uh, just fundamentally, right? Just to realize that, just to get them to integrate. And so let me show you that really quickly. So in settings in Kajabi, what you could do is just do third-party integrations, Okay, and so here you could see my convert kit. All you need to do is turn it on and you need to just uh, enter in the API key. And so you could see here that you have a learn more and you have a how do I integrate convert kit question here. And it's very, very easy to follow the prompt. The only thing you need to do basically is come over to convert kit, go into uh, basically your, your settings copy the API key, come back over to Kajabi, paste the API key, and just make sure that the integration is turned on. That's all you need to do. It is so simple to integrate the two plugins. But this video was going a, a lot more in depth. What we did was actually connect an offer, the purchase of an offer to ConvertKit so that ConvertKit can see uh, when a customer comes in and, and it will apply the appropriate uh, tag uh, from the appropriate form. Okay, so that's it for this video. Again, let me just back up to, to the global view because this video is part of a series of videos. What we're doing is we are um, running a promotion and this video in particular was making sure that when someone purchases the stuck at home package through Kajabi, it will then send that email over to ConvertKit. Okay, so we're kind of coming full circle here. Okay, so if someone purchases this, then um, ConvertKit will know, basically. And I will be able to filter people out of the email. So as an example of filtering, for example, with the receipts here, you'll see that I've selected that the only people that I'm going to send this promotion to are the, is the fresh segment. And the fresh segment is all non-customers, basically. And so, um, yeah, that's it. All right. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing. If it was confusing, just leave a, a question down below in the comment section. Uh, in the next video, let me check what we're going to do. I've created a little list of what we have to do here. Um, okay. So we've connected ConvertKit and Kajabi. We have created the checkout offer. We have created the coupons in Kajabi. We have built the sales page with Thrive Architect. We have created the email with ConvertKit. Okay, and so in the final email, what we need to do in the final video, rather, is um, to get all the links, making sure that everything is connected properly. Okay, and um, that's it. So we know that the promotion, so that when someone sees the email and they click on the links, they're going to get the discount. When they click on the 
uh, stuck at home package, they're going to be taken to the sales page. And then when they're on the sales page, they will be then taken to the checkout page. Um, and then everything's going to be right. And then after people make a purchase on Kajabi, we're going to make sure that that information gets sent to ConvertKit. Okay. Um, but that's pretty much it. And then we're just going to double check everything. And I think we're going to actually launch the campaign in the next video, assuming that all the ducks are in a row. Okay. And uh, that's going to be basically the final email, the sequence. There is going to be a bonus video. here. Th th I'm sorry. That's going to be the final video of the sequence of videos. There is going to be a bonus video, and that's going to be covering a follow-up sequence in ConvertKit. Okay. So I'm not going to give any details on that. This is, has been enough. This video has looked at connecting Kajabi and ConvertKit. Again, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. Uh, I am an affiliate for Kajabi, for ConvertKit, and for Thrive Themes. Uh, we didn't talk so much about Thrive Themes here, but if you're interested in any of those products, I have a link below in the description below this video. It is an affiliate link, so if you're interested in checking out those products, I'd appreciate it if you go through my uh, affiliate links. All right. Thanks so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace.